Welcome back to Cactus Corp Plays Mass Effect 2. My name is Kevondre. My name is Bobby. Last time we went to Omega and we met Arya and uh, she told us, hey, go talk to Morden. He's down in the slums. And we got Morden. He's a Solarian scientist who uh, cured the plague and now he's going to help us fight the Collectors because he's a real man. Wish oh, yeah? I wish that he was a romance option. That would be great. Yeah. I mean, you always romance the scientist. Let's be real. Yeah. I agree. On this episode, we're going to return to Omega. Do I have any Commander, messages? You received a new message at your private terminal. Are you lying to me, Kelly? Are you lying to me this time? She's probably lying to you. Oh, we got some stuff. Hey, Shep Heard. Heard, I have you to thank for getting out of purgatory. Sent a ship to round me up, but they didn't weapons check good enough. I'm going to carve your name instead of mine into my next victim as thanks. Got anyone you need dead? Ha <laughs> ha. You did take a shot at me, though, on my way out, so I have to kill you. You know how it goes. Dad taught me that you let anyone hurt you, and they get ideas, so you have to make sure to send a message. Not like I'm sending now, though. See you around. The people who live here are coming back, and it's showtime. Look around before my f look around for your name. I'll make sure you find it before I find you, Billy. Okay. It's sad, because this is exactly how people type on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. And I can heal my facial scars. Should we do that? Sure. Because they are, they are ugly scars. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's go see Chakwas. Oh yeah, we haven't really done like a tour of this ship yet. No, we have not. So we, would, we did the upstairs CIC. Um, this is the crew quarters one. But it's mostly empty right now because we don't have a lot of the crew yet. Yeah. Um, like the regular human crew hangs out in here. This oh, is where they live. Okay. Uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. The hero of New Canton, the man they call Commander Shepard. I'm fairly certain that's not how that song goes. I don't know. Jane would be sorely disappointed. That's like the one thing that he's accidentally done well in his Women's life. This restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Fine. All right. Uh, let's see. That's where Miranda lives. We don't need to see her. She's boring. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be oh, real excuse nice, me, princess. Yeah. What's up, girl? Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive. And we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Find Brady. I thought that I came here to fix my scars. Yeah, you chose the wrong options. No, I'll I think that I'm supposed to be able to just do it I'll see you later, on the thing. Commander. But maybe that needs to be next time we come here. Ah, oh, well, let us go back to Omega. No messages for you, Commander. Shut the fuck up, Kelly. <laughs> so an interesting thing has happened again. Oh, yeah. Our, uh, our air conditioning is out again. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's not that the air conditioner doesn't work, it's just that it's fucking leaking a waterfall into pots that we have. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a great time. 
I was just sitting at my desk and suddenly I just hear some just water falling. I'm like, ah! Yeah, and then it was a good time. But the complex took care of us. We got like a swamp AC thing. That in no way reaches the back rooms. It doesn't reach the back rooms. But the house fan does. House fan is great. This kid, that's not going to work for me. She don't care. Let's stick with our boy Morton and our girl Jack. You gotta go. It's time for you to leave. Hey, Miss Kitty. Alright. Could use Incinerate. Tech Mastery. Morton. And I guess Cryoblast if you need to. Fresh to death. I'm gonna change guns because that pistol has like no ammo. Oh yeah. Grenade launcher. I'll go with the missile launcher. Yeah, it should be fine. Squad mates don't need to worry about ammo. Well, that's pretty handy. So yeah, last time we talked to Arya um, about Archangel 2, she told us to go talk to this Merc recruiter guy. Oh yeah, the scene does I not contain a lap dance. True. Mm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? No, let's get that's, that's the microphone. <laughs> hey. <laughs> she disagrees. <laughs> are you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. Fucking patriarchal Show piece of shit. Tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So, you're here to fight them. Hey, get it. Sure. Get this it. is the place to go get after Get it. Get it. This <laughs> is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends get don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member yeah, of the Blue Sun's you. Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a borch out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Sign in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? This is it, but it's no game, kid. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Don't be stupid. Dangerous work. Clear, you're not suited for it. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Oh, well. I know a lot Pretty of people sure don't that kid. in here. Good luck. I'll need it. Perfect. Thanks. Dumbass motherfucker. Oh, man. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Kid is determined to hang out with me, and she's like putting her claws in the chair so that Bobby Come can't on, get her out of the way. In. It's great. What's up, Gavorn? So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? I saved you a lot of trouble. You should be grateful. Grateful? Huh. Now I get to deal with the slavers complaining about the reduction in their crops. But that I can handle. What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. The way those Vorcha breed. I'll have something to do soon enough. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Thanks, man. Yeah, he's a nice guy. 
says nice things, hates slavers. That that's the marks for a decent I'm on person. Mission. I agree. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Get it in. I'll stick with uh, my home skillets here. Bing! We good. It's about time they send me someone who looks like they can actually fight. You bet! I'm ready to go! Is he with you? I'm on my own. I don't need any help. Just tell me where to go. Right. Just head through there. I'm sure you'll find your way. I'm on. Uh -huh. They tell you what we're up against? Just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Oh, I thought you said the so bridge was the only way. Foolishness. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to <laughs> You look like you're good enough at suicide. Talk yeah. to Sergeant <laughs> Kafka. He'll tell you when to go in. That's our whole thing. find Sergeant Kafka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangels killed dozens out there already. Getting in, simple enough. Getting out, problematic. Let's worry about finding him first. Yay. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. You need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jared. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? Fuck off, bro. Get going. Good idea. Dick. I've spoken to Garm, and he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we've already taken, possibility exists that we won't have the men needed to continue on the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of our organizations would be ready to move on Arya without the assistance of the other two. That is a poor plan. Yes. Seems like many of the plans in this game are poor plans. Bam, bam. C, C. Y, Y. Yeah, bam. Peanut butter and jam. We can figure how this mech goes. So it'll attack the mercs now too. Nice. I don't care about that. Get out of the way, Morton. You fuck. Hey, don't talk to sexy science man that way. He is a sexy science man. You're in the wrong place, freelancer. You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. I should get going. About time. About time. About time. It's been ten years since Dr. Horror will sing along blog. Yes. And that's just depressing. 
Very depressing. Yay. All right. We got him. Makes no difference. Open the door. It makes a bit of a difference. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, Lord, I'll take it. Hey, and you got some more money, as if you don't have enough already. I don't need any money. What do you want? Screw the rules. I got money. I don't want excuses. How Cap gonna get that gunship working? Or he'll be next over that bridge. Get this freelancer out of here. I don't have time for this shit. What's your problem? You. Get, get this scum out of my face. Over here. The next wave's going soon. Shouldn't you be outside getting ready? Why is he so pissed off? He's not a big fan of you freelancers. Doesn't trust people he doesn't know. Hates having to bring in outsiders. Oh, so it's what a personal problem. Yeah. Never mind. Maybe we'll just get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Capco. Okay. Watch out. Oh. <laughs> Kafka? Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salky mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Smoking up his death sticks. Yeah. Are you going to give us cover with the gunship? Huh. It's an odd pause. The only they, one they wait for the animation for the so smoking to happen. Ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. A few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a Awkward surprise Morgan. waiting for him. Yeah. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to a hundred percent before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. Fucked him up. Yeah. It's dead, Jim. Archangel is in trouble. Not much time. I guess we should go get him out. Come on. We'll give these guys a surprise of our own. New victims. Come on! She's with Archangel. Well, they figured you out. Now that you made it exactly hard. Does Morton actually call out headshot when he gets one? Sometimes. Because that's awesome. Yeah. That's what that's what we do. He is best boy. True. I uh, I instantly ship him with everyone. Well, you know. And I presume when he finishes, he yells headshot. <laughs> Archangel. Yeet. He's just chucking the bullets. Yeah. Life can justify. Shepard. 
Nice. Sup, Gare Bear? What are you doing here? Good to see you too. I'm just surprised to see you. You and me both. Still, it's good to see a friendly face. Killing mugs is hard work, especially on my own. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please. It's, uh, just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concuss of rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here. Yeah, that's a good point. Now yeah. it'll be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. If we just wait, they'll pick us off eventually. It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And the three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack, and their defenses take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little murk blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. Nice. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You, you can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we've got. No, not here. Yeah, right there. That's exactly what I wanted, right? Shockwave those motherfuckers. That's what uh, Garrus says when he comes. Nice. He does the old uh, sneaky geyser attack. Yeah. Arr. <sighs> I gotta say, this mouse isn't great for this. So get another mouse. Yeah, I should just go back to my wired one. So how many do you have to kill? Uh, 10 million. Oh. That seems excessive. It's a little much. Eclipse marks have made it into the base. Yeah, I got it. God damn it. Kobe. shooting at? Upstairs. And now nothing, they're just standing there. Hey, look, you're shooting at nothing too. Shut <laughs> your mouth. <laughs> Because I hacked it. Yes. I'm guessing it'd be a bit of a pain in the ass if you didn't. Yeah. 
Well, it's just an extra little thing to shoot at. Damn it, Jack. That's okay. You'll kill them all eventually. Yeah. I love this rifle. <laughs> Fucking Garrus. <laughs> Yeet. No. It just feels like it. Yeah. It's a lot of guys. Because, I mean, like, in Kingdom Hearts, where it's like, oh, yeah, it's a thousand heartless fight. I'm like, yeah, but there's not really a thousand. And no, there's a countdown timer. It's actually a thousand. And it's some bullshit. Yeah, and that part was horrible. Yeah. I mean, everything is horrible, but. I like the gummy ships. A lot of people think that's the worst that's bit, the but worst not, I like it. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. You could take that part out and miss absolutely nothing. That's true. I just like certain bad mini games. Sup, Gare Bear? Kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me, and we got Jareth in the process. Fuck that guy. Hunting that little bastard for months. We still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Make a break. Let's see what they're up to. <laughs> Reinforce the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Oh, yeah, the gunship thing and what sneaking him back. Damn it, they breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. I didn't come all this way to let you die. I'll split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there. Morden, stay with Garrus. Keep him safe. We'll do what I can. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Just Jack. Yeah, you and Jack. You and me, girl, that's forever. Sha -la 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 -la. So I was watching the Dimitri Martin special on Netflix. Yeah, like the, the, the new one. one. Yeah, and it's Dimitri Martin, all right. Uh, seems like there's a laugh track on it. Maybe there's not. But the entire time with his haircut, he just looks like a Beatles reject. True. And I, he didn't make a joke about that, as far as I've seen yet. So I'm kind of disappointed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shutter secured. There's two more shutters. Get them closed fast. Yeah, close the shutters. Fly, bitch. Fly, bitch. Yeah. How that great would that be if in Lord of the Rings, instead of saying "fly, you fool," <laughs> you know, game of just like "fly, bitches." That, that'd be great. Yeah. I'd like a the Wiz version of Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah? Yeah. I I think that would be great. Yeah, thanks, Garrus. I I understand. Ah And he kinda fucked you up. Bitch. Go over the thing. There's a console near the shutters. Yeah, I know. There's not too many yet. I've lost shields. Two birds with one bone. I'm fairly sure that's not how that saying goes. Fairly certain it's not the same as certain. You're right. Just one more shutter. That negates neither of our statements. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm glad to have uh, helped out with your understanding of uh, statements. Like a child says 2 plus 2 is 5, and you're like, oh, I'm fairly certain 2 plus 2 is 4. Except for sometimes. Except for sometimes when dealing with odd powers and infinity. Anyways. Uh, Infinity's not a thing. Infinity's totally a thing. Just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's not real. I understand that there's a war about that, but... Honky! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to censor that. <laughs> Kavandra and I have this whole big thing. We've even got the whole office involved regarding infinity and how it works. Yeah, but we didn't. Oh, we did talk about the uh, the monkeys, huh? Yeah. Wouldn't happen. But not, but not Shakespeare. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! no. Fine, Walt Whitman. Okay, fair enough. Whitman. Anybody could write that shit. That that's true. <laughs> Or F. Scott Fitzgerald. Yeah, that too. A, a child could knock that out of a typewriter in about three hours. A child did knock that out on a typewriter in about three hours. Fair enough. I assume that's how Twilight, Twilight was written. Yeah. <laughs> Except for Bella's dad. She got some proper editing done. Yeah. Or he did. Yeah. Easily the best part. It was uh, ghost written by someone else. Stephen King. Yeah. Stephen King. Yeah. Stephen King, Ghost Rit Twilight. No, Pupper! <laughs> it's very bad, Pupper. It is very bad, Pupper. Coming in through the door. How did he get in there? They haven't even opened the door yet. How was Pupper there? <laughs> Rock. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. We back, bitches. We'll avoid direct fire. Slide up in your DMs like you know, headshot. That was an above that odd joke. Somewhere in there there's a joke. Pretend I said that joke. Alright. I will do that. Arr! Shut the fuck up, I'm coming. I'm here. Here, you're used to it. Yeet. He's dead, Jim. Did you just shoot him in the dick to kill him? Yeah. Yes, Butters, it's okay to shoot people in the dick. No. That's the line. Thanks, Jim. You Shepard. can't shoot guys they in the dick. They got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. Only the blue sons are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Him. Watch out! Damn it, I thought I took that thing out already. What? They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. I'm uploading troops. Watch your back, Shepard. Ah, Incinerate that bitch. Yeah. Just do the trick. Incinerate. Yeah, that too. Shoot flames at your dick. I really hope he's in Smash Bros. for that exact reason. You, you just want somebody in Smash Bros. to shoot flames out their dick. Yeah. Like, Incineroar is cool enough on his own, but also that is the the best part. Yeah. Or maybe Link can just get gonorrhea. No, no, Jack, I didn't mean it. Yeah, stand on top of that thing. I'll say. Yeet. Nice. Oh, Bitch. he got you. 
How are you taking fire? What's to worry about? Good job, Jack. Yeet! Nice. Whee. Don't put that shit. Damn, that's loud. I agree. Take care of business, man. Yeet! Get him. Hooray! Nice. With, if you get the better uh, heavy weapon, you can one-shot that thing. It's great. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> The blue bloods. We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. Good thing we have a doctor on hand. Too much. Damn it, Shepard! I'm a doctor. Not a doctor. Not that kind of doctor. He deals with plagues and shit. He's kind of that kind of doctor. Eh. He's a Healy doctor, not just like, oh, I have a doctorate in, like, stuff. Pathology is not the same as a triage. Commander, doctor. we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? They did what they could, but you're gonna have some scars. I'm sorry. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus, Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? I know that we didn't really show Cerberus uh, on the Mass Effect 1 playthrough because they were just kind of side missions that I did off screen. Oh, yeah. Uh, but we did deal with them before in an antagonistic way. They were just kind of trying to do experiments and get, you know, more info for their side, potentially to stop the collectors or just to be Cerberus. I don't know. Collectors are wiping out human colonies, Garrus. Nobody else cares enough to stop it. I can't argue with that. Hard to believe the Council is letting the attacks go unanswered, though. Damn politicians. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Forward batteries. I don't know what a ward battery is, but, you know... Three's not enough, and five's too many. Your mom's a ward battery. I still don't understand what a ward battery you is, then. A new message at your private My mom is many things. Yeah. Let's see. Just some extra bullshit. Uh, Shepard, 
Had family on a colony that got hit. I used some contacts with the Reds and found a couple of people who said that they can get you this message. You may not have much use for me. You spend too much time with the damn aliens pretending your time in the gangs back on Earth never happened. I know you weren't happy when I found you at the Citadel a couple years back. But I'm glad you're on this. I hope that you find whoever took my people on Freedom's Progress and kicked their scaly asses. I'm glad it's a human finding these bastards. I'm glad it's you. Do the Reds proud. You remember in the first game how we ran into that one guy who was just like, Hey, I remember you from back on Earth. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's basically this. Uh, so it's only because we chose the Earthborn as our uh, backstory. Okay. That we have this email here. And then the Omega Clinic does say, Hey, we're doing pretty good. Fuck off. I'm Daniel. Nice. Let's go talk to Gear Bear. Uh, that should be it for this episode. Y'alls. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. Rip. Sub G. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. I'm pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. It's amazing how Garrus is already much more interesting in this game than he ever was in the first one. Yeah. People talk a lot of shit about there not being as many character interactions in this game as there are in the first one. But I feel like the ones that do exist are much more engaging. I can agree with that. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode. Um, and next time we're going to get our last crew member uh, before... Well, actually we have a couple choices here. Okay, well, we'll, we'll figure that out next time. Um, but yeah, alright, we will uh, catch you guys next time, but let's do some shoutouts first. Sounds great. Uh, I'm going to do a shout out to something I never ever thought I would like. Um, no I, despite our AC being dead, I have found that lately a blanket is not sufficient because it doesn't cover my arms. So I was like, I want a blanket with sleeves, and then I'm like, oh, that's a thing. I should probably buy a Snuggie. And I did, and it's very, very comfortable, and I'm wearing it right now. Yeah. It's a Batman Snuggie, and I love it. Yeah. So, shout outs to Snuggies. Like, look, just call me the whitest kid you know. I don't give a fuck. It's it's comfortable as shit. Yeah, you're pretty much the whitest kid I know. Yeah. Anyways, so he got a Snuggie. Now, here's the thing. The day that he ordered the Snuggie, our AC unit went out. Yeah, which was the the god of, uh, sp of smite. Spite. Sp spite. Yes. Whatever. And then, uh... Then, the day that it arrived, our AC unit started flooding the apartment. Yeah. Apparently. So, the Snuggie has cursed the AC. Yeah, which is great. Which is why my shout-out is going towards Carrier HVAC units. Uh, how I figured out Carrier was pretty much I googled top HVAC units, and Carrier was number one. Although, extremely expensive. They have other brands that are made by like the same company that are slightly cheaper. You can do research on that, but pretty much Carrier is the main parent group 
that has the higher quality in HVAC units. Apparently, they're super reliable. Wouldn't know. <laughs> then you look at ours and it's just like, oh yeah, never mind. I should go out and check what ours is. It's going to be some like little dinky ready shit. Dinky ready shit, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Yeah. Carrier HVAC units. Uh, in in getting away from his theme from the first few episodes of this uh, series. Yeah. Can you tell I'm irritated about our AC constantly going out? He's irritable about it. I have problems. Irritable AC syndrome. Yeah. Irritable AF. Yeah. This doesn't look like it's well made. Like, you'd have to, like, walk out into, like, a curved thing to get into this chair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, uh, all right, guys, we will catch you next time. Thank you, guys. Goodbye. Bye.